mounted the podium in a bit, he made mention of the fact that jot down or you know, note down the point where you would want to rebat. What we have done for you is that we have, have you know, made available for you some plain A4 sheets. Write your points on those sheets. Previously, we've realized that people write on some of the sheets that they read or present from. So they flip, 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 and they can't find it. So we've given you plain sheets. Make use of them. Again, he mentioned, you know, that um, the principal speaker has seven minutes. The supporting speaker has, what? The principal speaker has ten minutes. The supporting speaker has seven. Summary should be done in five. You'll be doing your presentation. You'll not be able to watch your time and get, get to know how you, you're doing. So a certain fine, handsome gentleman go by, goes by the name King Davis. His main job here this afternoon is to alert you when you have two more minutes to go on your time, and this is what you would hear. When your time is fully up, he would do this. That thing always coughs, too. But all they put your hands together for King Davis, the accurate timekeeper. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not time for us to be inviting the debaters to mount the podium, take their seats, and take their turns to debate. As you're very much aware, the motion for this afternoon is artificial intelligence, call it AI, is threatening to take over human productivity. Kumasi Wesley Girls, well, they are for the motion. And new ADBS is in your high, they are against the motion. Ladies and gentlemen, in this auditorium, please put your hands together for yourselves. You've been amazing and awesome so far. Wesley Rama. I like the thing you do, guys. Wesley Rama. Our Wesley Rama. <laughs> Please stand. Well, maybe you don't know the drill, but when I ask you to stand like this, it means you have to sing your school anthem. And like I always say, oh, why are you say, hey, she can't sing your school anthem? Well, I can see somebody with a nose mask on. It means the person can't sing and wants to hide behind a nose mask. Eh? Oh, you're removing it. It's all well and good. <laughs> all right, so once you're standing, you'll be singing for us your school anthem. All right? Like I always say, sing it with joy, sing it with pride, sing it with all the vigor in you. So if you're ready, there's a fine gentleman called Collins. He's going to start it off for you. So Collins, please, the Ask School Anthem. Sing along, please. If you're not watching us on television, if you're not watching us on, you know, Facebook, you're missing a lot. I like the way you, you landed. How did you end? You say, arise and shine. But I was thinking that it's Kewegehe, Kumasi Wesley Girls High School. But yet, some of the men were singing, whether they're teachers or their parents or their guardians, they were singing. And we're trying not to sing in a bass tone, they were trying to sing in a treble tone. So, ladies from Kumasi Wegehe, it's now time for us to welcome your debaters. Wesley Ramba. Wesley Ramba. Right, One more time. Wesley Ramba. Right. With a round of applause, let's welcome your debaters. Bridget Ousu Ajiman, principal speaker, and Priscilla Tiwa and FIFA supporting speaker. Oh, there they are. Yeah. Okay. I hope that at the end of the contest, the Vim. The energy, the excitement will be as it is now. Thank you very much. Put your hands together for your own selves. Let's go to New Edibiasi Senior High School. Ebusian 4. Ebusian 4. Ebusian 4. Ebusian 4. Okay, thank you very much. Please stand. Well, they have some boys amongst them. It means we'll be hearing some bass, huh? So you just saw what um, 
students from Kumasi Wesley Girls did. They just sang their school anthem and they sang with pride and joy. It's your turn. Ebusha Fu, are you ready? Yes. Collins, are you ready? Please let's go. Sing along. <laughs> You know, sometimes when I watch the, the judges do their job, I feel like being a, a, being a judge. So I think that I would appoint myself a judge over the anthems. Some of the schools have great anthems. So I'll be making myself a judge and be, we'll award some marks for that as well. Don't mind me, I'm just kidding. But put your hands together for yourselves. You stand beautifully. And at this point in time, please, let's welcome your debaters, Abigail and Puffo Principal Speaker, and Mesa Charity, and Joe Sangram, the supporting speaker. Well, obviously, it's going to be an old ladies affair, an all ladies affair. That's what it's going to be this afternoon, an all ladies affair. Please take your seats for me. Thank you so much. The motion is artificial intelligence is threatening to take over human productivity. Like I've already mentioned, Kumasi Wesley girls, they are for the motion. And Nua Dubiasi, they are against the motion. Madam Chairperson, with your indulgence, can we start? So because Kumasi Wesley girls are for the motion, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome them with a round of applause so they set the ball rolling. Hello. How would our world be today without technology? Imagine, imagine a future where artificial intelligence has advanced to such a degree that it can outperform humans in almost every aspect of productivity. The chair, impartial panel of judges, the accurate timekeeper, co-debaters, ladies and gentlemen, good day. I am Owusu Ajiman Bridget, the principal speaker for the motion on board, and I quote, artificial intelligence is threatening to take over human productivity. The chair, before I proceed, Please permit me to explain some of the keywords in the motion for the sake of my anticipant audience and my confused co-debaters. According to the National Artificial Intelligence Initiative Act of 2020, the term artificial intelligence means a machine-based system that can, for a given set of human-defined objectives, make decisions, recommendations, or predictions influencing real or virtual environment, threat to a person or thing, 
is the danger that something very unpleasant might happen to them as defined by the Collins English Dictionary and human productivity refers to the ability to efficiently and effectively produce goods, services, or achieve desired outcome within a given time frame. So the chair, the motion in its simplest form seeks to say that machine-based system is on the verge of taking over production of human effort in organizations and all other factors. The mere existence of artificial intelligence technologies pose a threat to human productivity. Yet, we will dive further into why artificial intelligence is a threat to human productivity and why you all should rally behind me as I speak in favor of the motion and I quote, artificial intelligence is threatening to take over human productivity. My dearest opponents, did you know that artificial intelligence has contributed immensely in the agricultural sector? Well, let me tell you, one major reason is that AI-driven robotics and automation perform autonomous farming in the agricultural sectors. Autonomous farming refers to the use of AI-driven robotics and automation in the agricultural process where machines are made to perform tasks traditionally, which are supposed to be performed by humans without any human intervention. I repeat, without any human intervention. And the preference for AI-driven machines will be on a higher scale than human labor. This, and this is a big threat to human productivity because by 2050, the world's population is expected to reach 9.6 billion and agricultural production will need at least increase by 70 percent to meet the growing demand for food and with this in view john deere and many others have developed tractors which are equipped with gps sensors and even advice guidance systems and my opponent the house it will interest you to know that these tractors are these tractors can autonomously navigate fields, perform autonomous service, and even coordinate with other machines for optimized operations to increase productivity. The Vantage Market Research forecasts that AI in agriculture will soon have a market value of $4.2 billion by 2028. Again, the chair, the invention of autonomous vehicles, which is introduced by the AI, is gradually taking over productivity in the area of transportation Autonomous vehicles are vehicles, in fact, that they need less or no human intervention. In other words, we can say it is driverless. Autonomous vehicles are gradually laying drivers of their duty due to its efficiency. Waymo, the driving division of Alphabet Incorporation, reported a 10% improvement in fuel efficiency during their autonomous vehicle trials. According to reports, in 2020, U.S. annual vehicular fatality rate was 38,824 and crashes, and 94% of crashes are due to human error. My opponent, do you know that autonomous vehicles have the potential of reducing crashes by 90%, I repeat, 90% reduce, uh, saving approximately $190 billion per year. In the same vein, the artificial intelligence power traffic management system reduce congestion, detect speed limits, and even, and even regulate traffic flow, which has reduced the need for wardens and yet a threat to human production. Moreover, Madam Jackson, my, my judges, AI has significantly contributed to the health sector productivity. Artificial intelligence driven predictive analysis have, have helped in the early detection and diagnosis of disease. Artificial intelligence based medical imaging analysis has demonstrated high accuracy and efficiency. For instance, a study published in Nature Medicine found that an AI system outperformed radiologists in detecting breast cancer in mammograms, reducing false negatives, false negatives by 9.4% and false positives by 2.7%. The chair, the house, had it not been the advent of the artificial intelligence, these people were going to be diagnosed wrongly with the positives, giving prescriptions, which you and I know that it would later had a side, had, well, had a side effect on them. With this level of accuracy than human, it is undeniable. In fact, there is no doubt that it has already become a threat to human productivity. Penultimately, Madam Jackson, my impartial panel of judges, the 
introduction of AI in the security sector has maximized our protection over human. Security agencies like the police use AI in tracking criminals through the use of facial recognition technology and the fingerprints. Facial recognition technologies, which are technologies capable of matching a human face from a digital image, have totally enhanced our security systems. For example, the Metropolitan Police in London reported a 70% identification rate for wanted individuals using this same facial recognition technology. In the same vein, the Los Angeles Police Department implemented a policing program with the AI and saw a whopping 33% decrease in violent crimes and 21% reduction in burglaries. My opponent, do you still hold on to your stance? Finally, the chair, the house, the introduction of AI in the educational sector has boosted educational research and development. Gone are the days when researchers and students used to move from one library to the other for information. Today, thanks to the AI, such a thing is no more. There are AI-generated search engines which have aided in students' performance and research. Plagiarism, I repeat, plagiarism, which is the highest form of academic test, is now a thing of the past due to the advent of AI-powered plagiarism checker. And there are these tutoring systems which have aided in improving students' performance. There is this online platform online learning platform, which is the Newton, reported a 17% improvement in students' performance through online personalized learning experiences. My opponents, just to hold on to your stance, and the chair, before I resume my seat, I would like to caution my opponent that whatever scripts, I mean, whatever scripts that they have prepared pertaining to the fact that machines are not 100% efficient, I would like to tell them that they should start tearing them off. In fact, they should burn them because humans are not efficient. And even if they are efficient, their efficiency cannot be compared to the AI. The chair, the house, looking at these cogent points and facts raised, I call upon you to rally behind me as the winner of the debate and I quote, Artificial intelligence is threatening to take over human productivity. Unquote. Thank you. Well, this is to tell you that the fifth contest in the 2023 edition of the Love of Him High School debate is underway. And you just heard from the principal speaker of Kumasi Wesley Girls, Bridget Osu Ajiman. Listen, gentlemen, we're live on television. It's on Joy Learning. We are live on radio. It's on Love 19.5 FM. We are also live on Facebook on LUV 19.5. Listening to us and watching us on Facebook, drop comments. We'll share them with the rest of the world. It's now time for us to go to New Edwibiasi Senior High School and welcome their principal speaker, Abigail Ampofo. are essential part of human intelligence. Without emotional intelligence, artificial intelligence is nothing. His eminence, Sri Amit Ray, AI scientist from India, judging from what this pioneer of compassionate said for a better development of my argument. Please, let's watch this video. Uh, these chatbots are like tape recorders. They don't know right from wrong. They don't know truth from untruth. And as a consequence, they can spit out nonsense in there is Prof. Mikio Kaku's take on AI. And I wonder how a system tagged as nonsense by a quantum supremacy professor will eventually outdo human intelligence. Oh, don't worry. As and when needed, more exhibits will be tended to back our clips. The chair panel of judges, Akira, timekeeper, court debaters, and all other protocols observed. Good day. The good people of New Dubiasi Senior High School extend their greetings and representing them in this, I guess, debate is I, Abigail Ampo, for the principal speaker. And I mount this podium 
to make a strong case against the motion table today, and I quote and unquote, artificial intelligence is threatening to think about human productivity. The chair, may I quit your indulgence to explain some key terms in the motion so the simplest understanding of some bond before computers here. Artificial intelligence is the theory and development of computer systems able to perform tasks normally acquired human intelligence by Oxford languages. Threatening in this context expresses an unpleasant situation which is imminent. Takeover is a phrasal verb which simply means to begin to have control of something. Tech.com defines human productivity as an assessment of the efficiency of a worker. Therefore, a better understanding of the motion. Paradigm was explained. Posits that human beings are performing exceptionally well in maximizing output. However, my friends here are claiming that this ability of humans to perform this task efficiently is on the verge of being taken over by computers and mm -mm -mm, we wouldn't accept that. That's right. Can you permit us to substitute AI instead of artificial intelligence in our presentation? Panel of judges for the purpose of a more convincing, planned and unblemished debate. We've split our presentation into two dimensions. My presentation will focus on the exceptional qualities human possess that AI cannot replicate, let alone taking over it as my subordinate speaker will come up to address me and school you on the lapses of AI that will always prevent it from taking over human productivity. The chair, my opponents were good to think for us that we would make an assertion that machines, machines, humans, machines, humans assist machines to work efficiently. Machines efficiency is not up to 100%. What were you thinking that we would, we would resort ourselves to such an amateur research? No, we wouldn't do that since it is irrelevant. Meanwhile, I would like to debunk every word that you said since it is based on unacceptable premises. This is because humans make AI work. Yet, the irony here today is that AI is being rated above humans. The chair, there would never be artificial intelligence without human intelligence but there will forever be human intelligence without artificial intelligence every line of code with which ai is developed is written by humans so how do you generalize that ai is taking over human productivity therefore these are tangible reasons to prove to the house that indeed ai can never take over human productivity in the first place the chair our premium response in resolution to the opposition is that humans possess creative skills which no ai can replicate let alone taking over right At let alone taking over right. Indeed, Dotcom defines creative skills as the ability to use the imaginations to generate new ideas. Then sure, for a clearer presentation, please let's watch this. Let's listen to Michael Osborne, associate professor in machine learning. This is in, at University of Oxford. This is what he said in his AI class. Combination of um, you know things from vastly different areas of our experience, right? So, an architect, for instance, might be inspired by a nature documentary that they saw the night before. And I think to really make those big leaps in innovation and originality and creativity, you need that ability to combine very different things. And really that requires a data set that is the whole of human experience, which I don't think we're anywhere near to replicating. So that's the first. From this video, ladies and gentlemen, we do not deny that AI is great at analyzing data and coming out with solutions based on that data, but it is not so creative at generating truly new and innovative ideas. Human beings are still the best at thinking outside the box and coming out with creative solutions to complex problems. Since AI does not have the ability to think outside the box and generate creative ideas for innovation. There is no way you can tell me AI is taking over human productivity. Secondly, the chair, emotional intelligence is another skill that cannot be supplanted by AI. Helpguide.org defines emotional intelligence as the ability to understand and manage one's own emotions and emotions of others. Emotional intelligence is one distinguishing factor that makes humans forever relevant in workplaces. So why do you tell us that AI, which has no emotional intelligence, is threatening to take over human productivity? The chair, please, let's watch this video too. AI having emotions. This is, from my perspective, um, a concept that is that is you know very fun to think about in the context of, of science fiction, but it's it's not um, it's not realistic in the context of today's um, today's science. 
This is Professor Peter Stone, a computer scientist at the University of Texas view on emotional intelligence when it was reported that AI has human feelings. This is evident that regardless of how well AI machines are programmed to respond to humans, it is unlikely that humans will ever develop such a strong emotional connection with these machines. Hence, AI cannot replace humans. Again, ladies and gentlemen, human beings, humans, human beings possess leadership abilities which no AI, and I repeat, no AI can ever reproduce. Dictionary.com defines leadership as an action of leading a group of people or an organization. What we are trying to imply here is that leadership is a skill that requires the combination of intelligence and creativity. That requires the combination of intelligence and creativity. We don't doubt that AI is great at analyzing data and coming out with solutions. At analyzing data, we don't doubt that AI perform repetitive tasks, but they can't inspire and guide others towards a common goal in the same way that humans can. So with this, how come the daughters of John Wesley defend the indefensible that AI is starting to take over human productivity? The chair, we all know that strong leadership is necessary to create a sense of urgency, motivation, and developing a holistic approach to cultivating productivity. And only humans have this ability. So are you telling us a certain AI motivated you to join this high school debate, or your teachers did? If it is AI, then prove to us but if you're just dead, then my friends, you better go and come again next time. In addition, ladies and gentlemen, human beings will always be ahead of AI since they have the innate knack to perform special physical skills with much dexterity. Dictionary.com defines dexterity as a skill or adroitness in using the hand or the body. The quality of performance in daily living skills such as cooking, eating, and recreational activities are determined to a large degree by human function and manual dexterity. AI and robotics cannot accomplish complex physical problems Complex physical prep that work that requires hand to eye coordination. Dr. Peter, who would you prefer to cook and serve you with special food in your home? Is it your loving wife or a certain AI machine? I can imagine from your mother that she would never allow any AI machine to take over your loving wife's trust. So help me silence go again that AI can never take over human productivity. Or let's be able to prove to the house that they are developing a certain AI machine that will contact for them in the next year's love if ever high school debate. <laughs> Boy, yeah. Lastly, the chair. We still stand against the motion that AI is threatening to take over human productivity. In that, humans possess analytical skills, which is a great trait every manager should have in the workplace in order to maximize productivity. Analytical skills refer to the ability to comprehend disparate sorts of information and draw valuable insights from them to make decisions and solve problems. Examples of these analytical skills include critical thinking, decision making under pressure, and solving complex problems efficiently. And are you sure AI can do all this? Obviously, no. The chair, we have a research by Sadia Zahidi at the World Economic Forum in December 2020 that says that by 2025, analytical thinking will be amongst the most sought after skills in the world. Since you might think beyond the realm of logic and reasoning, to affirm this, please let's watch this video from Critical Thinking Secrets. We're going to talk about the relationship between critical thinking and artificial intelligence. While AI has made great strides in recent years, it still lacks the ability to think critically. Critical thinking, the ability to analyze information and make reasoned decisions, is a uniquely human skill that AI has yet to fully replicate. According to this video, humans have upper hands over AI in analytical thinking. So how then do my opponents make an assertion that AI is threatening to take over human productivity? That's do Dr. Peter, what even makes my heart bliss most is that per their assertion, your man hours that you are spending here as a judge is useless and a waste of time and an AI powered machine would do a better job than yours. But forgive them for they know not what they say. I would like to conclude by saying that human beings will continue to advance and become more prevalent in our lives, but it cannot replace human completely in certain fields unique human qualities will always be necessary therefore AI cannot replace humans now the cherry battles my opponent made an assertion that AI has maximized productivity but the chair this is a mere straw man fallacy because per the gardener's research on june 30th 2021 ai failure rate is up to a whooping 85 percent and agonizingly the figure keeps on getting worse so with this poor ai success how can it take over human productivity thank you Well, just gone by was the principal speaker for New Edubiasi Senior High, and her name is Abigail Ampofo. Yeah. 
Earlier, we heard from the principal speaker for Kumasi Wesley Girls, Bridget Usuajiman. They both have made their intentions known that they are here to compete and here to win. Listen, gentlemen, show them some love. A round of applause for the two. <laughs> Having heard from both principal speakers, it's now time for us to welcome the supporting speakers. So we'll go back to Kumasi Wesley Girls and welcome their supporting speaker in Prisla. Tiwa Afifa, a round of applause for her. The Honorable Chair, all protocols observed. Good day. I am Priscilla Tiwa Afifa, the subordinate speaker for the motion, quote, artificial intelligence is threatening to take over human productivity. Unquote. The chair, before I proceed, permit me to address some fallacies in the submission of my dearest opponent. The chair, the house, it has an undeniable fact that the introduction of technology alone has made work easier by diminishing the need for human inventment and, in total, and also totally diminishing human productivity. The chair, even the research on this motion is not an exemption. The chair, the house, I agree to my dearest opponent that AI are created by human and for that matter, human program it and give it command. So my opponents, are you trying to tell me that since human give it the command, it can never be a threat to their productivity? There are several cases where masters trains apprentices, but the latter outperform the master. In the same vein, AI technologies such as the cars, the computers, the laptops, the airplanes are created by man, but their output, their level of efficiency, their level of productivity can never and will never be compared to that of human. The chair, the house, I also heard my dearest opponent saying that human have leadership roles. My opponent, do you mean that leadership roles such as the leisure fair leadership role or the autocratic leadership will lead to initiating and initiate for innovation. I'm not sure you have learned your social studies well. The chair, the house. Now another point my opponents are raising is that human show empathy, human show empathy and flexibility to change than AI. This is a fact that we cannot deny. But my opponent, do you know that this same flexibility or emotional changes can lead to preferential differences where, to, where they feel emotionally connected to people or they become sympathizers with. This leads to favoritism, nepotism, and bribery. And as you know, with favoritism, nepotism, bribery, there is conflict. And conflict in the vessel, low productivity. It's a hallmark. The chain, the house. Another point I would like to raise is that I know my opponents are going to say AI is a machine, and therefore they wear off and tear off. But do they also know that human can get sick? And even when they go on strike or absent themselves from their work, their workload is left unattended or must be distributed to others. And when this work is on, is when this work is not completed or this work takes a longer time, it will reduce the overall productivity. The chain, the house, according to a research by PwC, it is made according to a research by PwC, BMC, it conducted that in Iran, productivity losses due to absenteeism on the part of human was two was $1.3 billion. Even in COVID-19, my opponent, if this is in Iran alone, I don't think you must calculate for the whole world the productivity loss that was caused due to COVID-19 on the part of human as a result of absenteeism. The chain, the house, my opponent may say, hey, I have I, AI are bringing jobs, that is, the AI intelligence will need human intervention and oversight, thereby creating new jobs such as AI, inter, AI trainers and engineers. But my opponents, the fact is that according to PwC, it estimated that by 2037, AI is going to create a job of about 7.2 million. My opponents don't know about it because World Economic Forum also estimated that by 2025, that is, three years from now, the that is two years from now. The job losses that are going to be created by AI technologies and automation is going to be around 85 million. My opponent, 85 million. I think you must revise on subtraction and calculate the deficit, the human deficit, the increased deficit, so that indeed AI will sooner and later take over human productivity. The chain, the house, I read from the about us, one of the areas, the significant areas where AI is taking over human productivity is trade or commerce. The chair, ladies and gentlemen, as we all know, consumers are becoming increasingly demanding. They want for delivery of goods as a low cost and with AI in supply, according to McKinsey. AI has decreased logistics costs by 15%. In customer satisfaction, chatbots and virtual assistants provide instant response to customer inquiries and requests.
Christ. For example, the Amazon Alexa understand and respond to all understands and respond to all our issues. The chair, this is offering assistance of 247, and this is indeed reducing the need for human intervention in our productivity. The chair, the house, one of the major areas that AI is also threatening to take over human productivity is in manufacturing industry because of its efficiency and effectiveness. The chair, efficiency refers to the ability to accomplish a task or ac achieve a desired outcome with low and limited waste in resources, time, and effort, and this is indeed the work that AI technologies are doing in our world today. The chair, the house, my dearest opponent, you all know that in the manufacturing industries, artificial intelligence robotics and automation have increased productivity speed and accuracy, thereby increasing productivity. With automation, there is a rise in productivity as compared to human productivity, especially when it comes to repetitive tasks where humans get bored and therefore do not put in their all, thereby reducing human productivity. My opponent, according to According to McKinsey Global Institute, by 2030, a job by 2030, 75 million people, between 75 million and 375 million workers globally must switch their job to others. My opponents, if indeed AI is not a threat, why do they have to switch their job? Why do they have to go and look for a new job? What would then happen to the old jobs? And why do we even upgrade ourselves when AI is not a threat to our productivity? Another reason why AI is Becoming a threat to human productivity is on the issue of multitasking. Multitasking is the ability to perform different kinds of work at the same time without a decrease in productivity. And AI artificial AI systems perform multiple tasks simultaneously without a decrease in productivity. My teacher, the house, in contrast, human have limitation when it comes to multiple tasks because, as you all know, our attention and focus tend to be divided when handling multiple tasks, and this indeed affects productivity. But unlike AI, they do not achieve, they do not, there are assumptions of distractions which lead to errors. The chair, the house, my opponents are really aware that from years to come, we all have to change. Employers will go for AI technologies that are more detoxing than a human who is limited. The chair, before I resume my seat, I would like to ask my opponents, my opponents, have you considered the number of AI technologies like the robotics, the autonomous vehicles that are working in dangerous environments and hazardous environments where human presence, where human presence is impractical and risky? The chair, the house with this point to raise, I call upon you all to stand with me as to speak in favor of the motion. Quote artificial intelligence is threatening to take over human productivity. The chair, the house, thank you. Well, Prisla Tiwa, a FIFA, a supporting speaker. Representing Kumasi Wesley Girls. The motion is artificial intelligence is threatening to take over human productivity. Administration in the USA between July 2021 and May 2022, a whooping 392 road accidents occurred involving self driving cars. Around 70% of these involved cars using either Tesla Autopilot or Tesla's full self driving beta system. From their reports, these accidents are as a result of these autopilot cars not being out, not being flexible enough to maintain a conscious awareness of their surroundings and further prescribe the manufacture of more driver assisted cars instead. Why? Because human reasoning and human brains prefer to improvise, maneuver, and gather information cannot be easily replicated by AI. Furthermore, ladies and gentlemen, AI does not have soft skills. Soft skills are a must have for every human in the workspace. They include teamwork, empathy, attention to detail, critical and creative thinking, effective communication and interpersonal skills. Only humans are taught and required to possess these soft skills. However, soft skills are alien to machines with artificial intelligence. AI cannot develop these soft skills associated with workplace and workplace development and growth. So how can it threaten to take over human productivity? We don't deny that AI can communicate, but cannot understand and fully respond to social cues. For example, Having a robot as a teacher or a doctor of nursery kids will be catastrophic since it lacks human touch services because they aren't made to understand human emotions and feelings. Meanwhile, humans can put themselves in another person's shoes to sense what they feel, which is a skill required for tasks such as 
Reading a person's feelings, managing emotions, working in teams and communicating effectively. Empathy is unique only to humans and intangible to AI and can never be replaced by AI. Humans will always rule supreme. Lastly, the chair, I would like to sell my opponents with good dose of some of the various fiascos of AI that can never make it comparable to humans, let alone talk of taking over, take, talk of taking over it. For instance, most activists of AI have identified the numerous dangers associated with AI and have started advocating against it. For instance, on 8 July 2019, BBC News reported of how a biased and wrong facial recognition sparked an uproar in the UK court. Not only this, so, but also IBM's Watson Supercomputer recommend on safe and incorrect cancer treatments. Let's share for better comprehension. Please, let's watch this video and we should be responsible and we should study these things and kind of be prepare people for what's coming and take steps maybe to um, uh, keep it from being too horrible and bad. For example, you know, look at how many bad people out there are just hitting us with spam and trying to get our passwords and take over our accounts and mess up our lives. And, you know, and now AI is another more powerful tool and it's gonna be used by those people, um, you know, for basically, uh, really evil purposes and I hate to see technology being used that way. In there is Steve Wozniak, the co-founder of Apple, talking on behalf of Elon Musk, the owner of Twitter and other technology leaders, to call for a pause on AI after Geoffrey Hinton, the godfather of AI, quits Google and further warns of its dangers. This affirms it when Bill Gates, the father of Microsoft, said, and I quote in unquote, humans should be worried about the threats posed by artificial intelligence. The chair, this is a clear indication that the anticipated future this advent of AI are proclaiming is nebulous. Therefore, we base on this to declare that AI can never take over human productivity. I would like to conclude by saying that AI has the, has the potential to augment human productivity, unlock new features, and lead to overall economic growth rather than being a threat to human productivity. Now the chair of the house, the chair, per my opponent's defi definition of human artificial intelligence, they asserted that AI helps make accurate predictions, but that is a sheer stereotyping. I would like to debunk that AI lacks a sense of proactive judgment. Proactive judgment is the ability to make good decisions, and you cannot prove against it that only humans possess such extraordinary skills. In Rama, how can AI distinguish between what is good and, and what is right? The chair, imagine robots replacing Chief Justice Gertrude Tokonu in legal matters. How bad? Then pay your claims. I'll not be amazed though if we end up blaspheming to us that Ghanaians will soon be voting for machines to rule over us and Ghanaians will never forgive you for saying such a thing. Such a thing. Also, they asserted that AI has created unemployment the chair, this is, a, this is a strong man fallacy. It was reported on CBN News on September 17, 2018, that AI and robotics would take almost 60 million jobs, but 60 million jobs that they, they destroyed in 2022. Who do you, sorry, the chair, this is a strong man fallacy. It was reported on CBN News on September 17, 2018, 2018 that AI and robotics would create almost 60 million more jobs than what they destroyed by 2020. In Raba, who do you think are going to do the jobs created by AI? Obviously, humans will do so. So my friends, AI is not creating unemployment. They also asserted that AI is cost effective. They also asserted that AI manufacturing requires less resources, time and money. Look who is talking. AI is more expensive in terms of cost upgrade, upgrading. Thank you. Well, for your information, season five of the Love FM High School debate is on. This afternoon, in this very beautiful auditorium at the Christian Service University College, we're having the fifth contest in the 2023 edition. If you're enjoying your afternoon, if you are being informed, if you're being educated, if you are loving it, a round of applause for the debaters. <laughs> Lua Dibiase is represented by Abigail Ampofo and Mesa Charity Agjo Seiram, whom you just heard. And of course, uh, Kumasi Wesley Girls is also represented by Presla, T.Y. Frifa, and Bridget Osu Ajiman. We're live on television on the Joy Learning Channel on Multi TV. We're live on Love 99.5 FM. And of course, live on Facebook. H have you sent a message already? 
I know you're enjoying the debate. So drop some comments. Let's reach out to those comments and share them with the rest of the world. I'm happy to be a part of this beautiful debate. One more time, a round of applause for our debaters. We're just about to wrap up. We're just about to wrap up. As it's time for us to have the summaries from the various debaters. Let's go back to Kewegehe and call on their principal speaker, Bridget Owusu Ajima, to bring to us their summaries. Show us some love. A round of applause for her. The honorable, in summary, the honorable chair, all protocols duly observed. I would like to re-emphasize that artificial intelligence is threatened to take over human productivity because one, artificial intelligence is very efficient and effective because it works faster than humans and it's very consistent and accurate. Two, it enhances scalability and replicability. Three, AI-driven robotics and automation can perform autonomous farming, which increases harvest and production. Four, the automation and autonomous vehicles introduced by AI technologies in transportation ensure safety of individuals and reduce road accidents. Five, the existence of artificial intelligence may lead to skills redundancy. Six, AI technologies enhance safety. And seven, AI technologies reduce labor costs in all sectors. My jurist opponents opine that AI rather augments human productivity rather than being a threat. Yes. I agree, with, I agree with you, but integrating artificial intelligence into existing systems and workflows often requires a substantial time and resources. Organizations need to invest in training, infrastructure, and data management before they can fully leverage artificial intelligence technologies. This initial implementation phase can result in temporary productivity losses, and this is one thing that most of the organizations won't take a risk on. Their motive is not to make losses. I repeat, their motive is not to make losses, and that is the main reason why they consider AI automated systems instead of humans. Looking at the significance of AI in all these sectors, do you still stand against the motion that artificial intelligence is threatening to take over human productivity? Okay, my opponents, I would like to re-emphasize on what my subordinate speaker just said. We agree with you that AI is created, controlled, and even programmed by man. But the motion focuses on how productive, efficient, and effective the AI is as compared to humans. In fact, human's output is nowhere near that of the AI, which my opponents know deep down them is no fallacy. And the child would like to perform some rebuttals. My opponents say that, my opponent says we said AI maximizes productivity. I agree with said that, and it's a threat because if AI is taking over productivity. What are, the what are the significance of the old job? People will still keep on switching jobs because their old jobs have been taken. And since it maximizes productivity, it is a threat because people will still move on from one job to the other. And number two, you said domestic activities such as washing, cooking, etc., can't be performed by the AI. But can you, can you compare? Can you compare the output of the washing machine to that of the human being? The chair, the house, looking at these cogent points and facts raised, I call upon you to announce me and my supporting speaker, the victor of the day. Thank you. Well, gradually we're coming to the end of today's contest. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard from both this principal speaker and supporting speaker of Kumasi Wesley Girls Senior High. They have also presented to us their summary. At this point in time, we'll go back to Nua Dubiase and call on Abigail Ampofu to bring to us their summary. Please, a round of applause for her.
All right, so we're still live on Radio on Love 99.5. We're live on television on the Joy Learning Channel. We're also live on Facebook on LUV 99.5. In a bit, you'll be hearing from the principal speaker of uh, New Dubiase Senior High School, Abigail Ampafo. She'll be bringing it to us the summaries in a bit. So awaiting her to join us. But listen, if you're on Facebook, All right, so I'm told that you need to come in now, please. So let's welcome her. Hello. The chair panel of judges, accurate timekeeper, court debates, and all other protocols observed. These are the points we raised to prove to the House and my opponents that AI is not threatening to take over human productivity. One, he must possess creative skills, which no AI can replicate. Two, emotional intelligence in hum in hum which human possess cannot be supplanted by AI. Three, humans possess leadership abilities which no AI can ever reproduce. Four, humans have the innate snap to perform special physical skills with much dexterity which AI can't perform. Five, humans possess analytical skills which is a great trait every manager should have in the workplace in order to maximize productivity. Six, humans are very flexible and can easily adapt to new situations, but AI comes nowhere closer to that. Seven, AI does not have soft skills, which is a must have for every human in the workplace. Eight, my, my supporting speaker also served you with good use of some of the various fiascos of AI that can never make it comparable to humans, let alone taking over it. Now the cherry battles. My opponents made an assertion that AI can perform repetitive tasks with precision than humans. We don't deny that, but that is a sheer stereotyping. What about non repetitive tasks which requires human social interaction like counseling and preaching? Humans will obviously perform this, so please don't overgeneralize. Two, they made an assertion that AI manufacturing requires less resource, time, and money. Look who is working. AI, AI is more expensive in terms of cost of upgrading. The chair, as reported by CNBC on 13th March, Nick Walton, in the CEO of Latitude, said in his company sent spends thousands of dollars to maintain AI system. That's that are so my opponents tell us a different joke. Again, they said automation is gradu gradually taking over the world. The chair, we agree, but that is a hasty conclusion because we all know that AI are built for repetitive tasks such as automation, but not for services oriented tasks, which will which will always require human intervention. So please don't throw dust into our eyes. For this, they argue that more people tend to love AI. Since they, again, they said AI has made remarkable achievements in agriculture. This is a sheer stereotyping. According to Professor Chaudhry of Harvard Business School, just adding AI to does not automatically increase productivity, but empowers the people who use it as well. So don't give us such a vague conclusion. This means that humans will always be needed to man AI machines. Therefore, we based on this to say that AI can never take over human productivity. Thank you. Well, the battle of the ladies from Kewegehe, that is Kumasi Wesley Girls, and of course, new ADBRC Senior High School is over. Ladies and gentlemen, in this beautiful auditorium, please, a round of applause for them. We are proud of you, Abigail Ampofo, and Mesa Charity at Joe Segram, as well as Presla T.Y. Frifa and Bridget Ousu Adjiman. They debated on the motion, artificial intelligence is threatening to take over human productivity. This is where the real work of our judges begins. So at this point in time, would I allow them to do their thing? But let me also do my thing by telling you about Pepsodent, one of our main partners for the 2023 edition of the Love FM High School Debates. Pepsodent Herbal is formulated from, you know, carefully selected natural extracts and, of course, uniquely blended herbs. Pepsodent Herbal repairs and protects your gum tissue while giving you strong teeth so you can chew your bones. Pepsodent Charcoal White is made with a fine blend of activated charcoal and lemon essence. Pepsodent Charcoal White polishes away tooth stains and naturally restores your bright smile. Make your smile count with any of the Pepsodent brands. Pepsodent Every Smile Indeed matters. 
Well, after talking, 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 I quench my thirst with Rasta Choco Malt. Introducing the all new Rasta Choco Malt, a feel of real chocolate malt, sorghum, and of course caramel with the, bright, with the right amount of hops. Now, your best bet for your favorite chocolate malt drink is Rasta Choco Malt. Grab a bottle of Rasta Choco Malt with a new look and the same great taste at any supermarket. Rasta Choco Malt is proudly made in Ghana by Trillium Industrial Company Limited, Jackson Education College. Steady in Malta. That's an advice to you. Take it. Steady in Malta. Now, are you ready to you know, bridge the gap between academia and industry and become a dynamic leader in the ever-evolving business landscape? Unlock your path to success with a Master of Business Administration degree at the Central Mediterranean Business School. In collaboration with Jackson Education College with our transformative learning experience that combines the best of both worlds. Jackson Education College, practicality, employability, and quality. I love my milk. Not just any ordinary milk, but the very best milk on the market, Cowbell. From Promacidor Ghana Limited, Cowbell, indeed, is our milk. Now, Madam Catherine has a physiotherapy unit, eye care, general clinic services, laboratory, 3 G, ultrasound, non-linear systems, radionics, and many more. Madam Catherine Black Tonic is recommended for ladies with menstrual pains and individuals with low blood or recovering from an illness. Look at Madam Catherine at Bodhi Junction. Let's talk about rice, the best rice on the market, fortune rice. And of course, Fritol from Wilma. Enjoy mouth-watering dishes with Fritol, a vitamin A fortified oil that promotes good vision. With fried or all your spicy fried chicken and chips, your jollof and fried goat meat, and that shrimp fried rice just got better. Welcome, friends and family, to that feast prepared with fried or and taste the crunchiness of every bite. Remember, with fried or every meal time is a memorable party time. Fried or you deserve a, a life of goodness. Christian Service University College is admitting students for the 2023-2024 academic year. Undergraduates and master's programs are offered at CSUC with morning, evening, and weekend schedules for all students. CSUC offers half scholarship for prospective students with an aggregate of 6 to 15. Look at CSUC, a start junction, fantastic. Would you want to hear what people are saying on social media, especially on Facebook? Would you want to hear it? Yes. Ask whether your school is winning or your school is losing. I can't feel your energy at all now. You want to hear it? You want to hear it? Yeah. Lady Bex, please, they said they want to hear it. What are people saying on Facebook? Patricia, please take it away as Becca joins us on the podium as well. Absolutely, David, and still taking um, or saying thank you to our proud sponsors and our partners. We have Zest Consult. They are the well-known, trusted, and leading IELTS, SAT, and GRE tuition center in Ghana. They're a proud partner of the British Council, and so you know you're working with people that can provide results for you. Now, if you're a nurse or you're a midwife and you desire to work abroad, go to Zest Consult for the best guidance. If you're also a student, of course, you know yeah, there are a lot of you here when you complete and you want to go out there go to zest consult for the best advice now zest consult is also into the sale of litigation free lands and buildings you can locate them in kumasi inside the kumasi cultural center and also at dhmsu main five in the wireless stars and if you're in this auditorium and you're single you're looking for a wedding ring promise ring or engagement ring you've been dating this person for years please grow up settle down i beg you the young men in here, okay, David is already married. David, I'm sorry. If you're looking for a wedding ring, engagement ring, or promise ring, then visit St. Ben Jewelry for quality, affordable white gold, yellow gold, rose gold, and silver rings. You can also get your earrings, bracelets, wristwatches, and all your accessories at St. Ben Jewelry. And if you need customized jewelry for your family or your friends or your loved one, or you want to polish their jewelry for them, visit St. Ben Jewelry. And you can find us at Amakum opposite Edward Nassau at Adum, Chelsea House opposite Standard Chartered Bank, St. Ben Jury, dream it and it will be done. Now let's also introduce the phone that gives you value for money. The phone that when you buy it from the market, you know that you are using a very great or good product. And that phone is ITIL P40 that is probably produced by ITIL. Now it is sleek, slim, affordable, and the most sought after phone. It also has a very long lasting battery. And so if you want to browse all day, you want to watch that video, you want to do that research, ITIL P40 is the phone that you need to go for. It gives you the 
clearest of sounds when you are listening to a phone call. And when it comes to the images and videos, it also gives you the sharpest of it all and also any file that you have on your phone. Now, ITEL also has um, learning materials or tablets, of course, for adults, teens, and kids. Find an ITEL shop in a mobile phone shop closer to you. But the greater part of the story is that if you buy an ITEL P40, you get 12 gig free from Vodafone for up to six months. And if it is your desire to start your own business, then New Life Entrepreneurship Training Center is here for you. We train Ghanaians with entrepreneurial skills and mindset to establish businesses. We run short-term, medium, and long-term courses on entrepreneurship, skills development, and general education. Admission is open for our regular evening and weekend classes at an affordable fee. You can locate us opposite Love and Insure FM at Bomso Traffic Light, Kumasi. We also like to say thank you to Ghana Health Therapeutics. They are the proud producers of Ghana Balm, Prosta Joy, and Ghana Man. Ghana Balm is for the treatment of joint pains, rheumatism, muscle aches, skin infections, swell, and also nasal conjection. Prosta Joy is also for the treatment and prevention of prostate enlargement, prostate cancer, and urinary tract infections. Now, you need Ghana Man to also boost your energy and give you vitality for the day. All these drugs have been approved by the FDA, and if you walk into any pharmacy or drug shop nationwide, you will get some. Think Positive Travel and Educational Consult is here. We assist everyone who wants to travel to work or study abroad. We help you with flight bookings, hotel reservations, visa assistance, passport, and birth certificates. We also operate a real estate agency that is into the sale of litigation freelance, property management, architecture designs, and building construction. You can locate Think Positive Travel and Educational Consult, as well as Think Positive Real Estate Agency at Anhojo, opposite Absa Bank adjacent Oasis of Love Church. One book we can speak on authority and tell you that it has been approved by NACA is the One Touch Government and Economics books. If you are in senior high school, if you're a headmaster listening, if you are into um, the education center, anything when it comes to government or economics, you have to go for One Touch publications. Like I said, it's been approved by NACA. You can find it in any bookshop nationwide, and also you can get their past questions and all the other brands of One Touch publications. Visit any bookshop now and you wouldn't regret. Dawood Herbal is also here. We are presenting Dawood 360 capsules and Dawood ointment, which is good for the treatment of waist pains, joint pains, general body pains, rheumatism. You can combine both for quick relief. Dawood Herbal products are certified by the FDA and are available in all pharmacies and herbal shops. And Patricia, I'd like to say a very big thank you to Ultimate Fashion. Mm -hmm. Visit us today at a Doom Opposite Podium for all your trendy, classy and shoe, uh, classy wares, shoes and bags with all the accessories for all occasions we have everything for your kids as well and a very big thank you also going out to cbs industries which is your home of quality durable beautiful roofing sheets and building materials before we read the comments coming on our Facebook timeline, let's say thank you to Pidato Limited Company. If you are thinking of making a mark in the IT career world after school, or even if you are watching us from home or listening to us on radio, and it is your desire to make that mark in the IT career world, Pidato Limited Company is the place that we recommend that you go to. These are the things they offer, okay? Technological services, which include software and website development, graphic design, social media, media management, consultation for business documentation and certification. Pidato also offers data collection and data analysis research services. We highly recommend that you also run your CPD training programs at Pidato's education subsidiary. Locate them at Atonsu S Line, Kumase. Pidato Limited Company, innovations, solutions, and empowering growth. All right, Patricia, before we pick up the comments, we say a very big thank you also to 3P Garlic Mixture. It's 100% pure garlic extract and natural plant juice full of vitamins and minerals. 3P Garlic Mixture is an immune booster, effectively formulated for the treatment of high blood pressure, menstrual pains, high sugar levels, numbness, obesity, stroke, asthma, and difficult or frequent urination, bloated stomach, and stress. 3P garlic mixture comes in a uh, glass bottle with a red cover and red garlic on the label. It is available in all herbal and pharmacy shops. And this has been certified and approved by the FDA. Now to the comments, Patricia. Obiniyem. Obiniyem. Who is winning? Yes, 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 yes. 
Who is winning? Fantastic. Enye Beidri. Okay. All right. So we have fantastic copy here. He says, Kumasi Wesley girls, please win for me or else I'll break up with my crush. Hey, somebody's, oh. <laughs> somebody's love life is at stake. Okay. Uh, PSA Tremendous says, congratulations to new Edubiasi. Yeah. Eric Chimasi yeah. says, mm-hmm. Eric Chimasi says, Kewegehe, shake the atmosphere so high. Huh? Kewegehe is taking the trophy home today. So my dear Dubiase, enter the bus and leave. Hey, shades, mushade. Patricia, I can't continue. continue. I, I have some also coming in here. The first one is coming from Joshua at Champon. And he says, New Dubiase presented their information well with accompanied videos. But their summary didn't add up for me. Kumasi girls, uh, Kumasi Kewegehe, I love their summary and how the last lady summed up everything. Now... <laughs> Let's go to Zachary Baba Said, who also writes, uh, Ness, we are strongly behind you. And he says it's a win or nothing else. Go, Ness, go, Ness. Yes. Now, Hamabet Haminu says, um, okay, he mentions people's names there. Della Akalu says, Ness all the way. Young oh. Nal says, I wonder what happened, but both schools didn't perform well during the summaries. Now, let's go back to the Facebook timeline. And Lord Inti says, Kumasi Wesley. And he says, could he supports you girls? And he has a fire. Oh, you know, you right there. <laughs> now, so, still more interesting comments here. Um, Rich Morning, Sian Opoku says, in Rabat, we love you guys from Eduja Fifth Senior High School. And <laughs> now, Akwega, I hope I got your name right. Akwega Botox says, I'm Chris Second, but I'm going for next today. And uh, Philemon Kwam Your Pong says, Congrats, Kumasi Wesley girls. And I'm going to, I. I'm going to end on this one. Emmanuel in Timofori says, New Edubiase is better. So you can keep your comments coming on our Facebook timeline and also um, Twitter, LUV99.5FM. The hashtag is LUVFMHSD. We're not done. David Akwete. Uh, Patricia, oh, Patricia, are you running away? Don't run away yet, too. Peter Atta, our lead judge, should answer that question. Okay. You remember that question that one of the debaters posed to him? Yes. Whether I he would like his partner to be an AI that will serve him his food, I, or no, to have I a human to serve him the food. He hasn't answered that question. Now the results are with me. Mm -hmm. So no influence on anything. Nothing. Would you want to hear that response? I definitely would like to you hear, hear that. Don't hear the answer? Yes. You sure? Yes. Okay. Uh, let me invite a certain fine gentleman here. Eh? His name is Patrick Yeboa. And um, Patrick Yeboa is the head of marketing for Trillium Industries. Now, for those of you who are enjoying your Rasa Choco, that is a company that puts it together. But before he even walks to the podium, we have told you already that we're live on Love, Night and Up on 5 FM. On, that's on radio. We're live on television on the Joy Learning Channel on Multi TV. Now, you can have a playback. Catch a playback. Watch a playback of this contest and all the other contests. Every anytime we come the day after at 4.30 p.m., there's a playback on Joy Prime. So if you want to see your beautiful selves on television, if you go back to... <laughs> um, <clears throat> a lot of people don't know much about what Twilliam Industrial Company does, but uh, I just want in a brief few minutes uh, tell you exactly what we are all about you are enjoying your rasta choco malt mixed with caramel hops and chocolate a newly improved one but trillium industrial company beverages entered into the Ghanaian beverage market in 2013 uh, and we entered with rush energy drink those who remember us original american cola planet range and bubble up lemon lime and of course vena mineral water today as we speak the company has lists 
production of over 60 different brands and flavors. And it will surprise you when I mention some of the brands, ranging from malt-based drinks to other quality, delightful carbonated drinks like Bigo, um, Planet Brands, and they are all proudly made in Ghana. Just last month, we received the award of the manufacturing company in terms of beverages and confectionery. And I'll talk about the confectionery very soon. Our success story uh, of the company has been upheld with the introduction of the Macberry biscuits. So any biscuit that you find in the market that is written Macberry, the London biscuit, the Alpha crackers, which was introduced in just 2019. And we just received an award as a manufacturing company for confectionery in 2023. <laughs> Clap for us. So some of our varieties include the landing range of biscuits, the Desta Blessed Biscuits, the Pure Delight Milk Wafer, the Twist Cupcake, the Bella Cake, among others. These market-leading brands are prepared under wholesome and hygienic conditions with strict supervision of our health and safety measures. The company used pure and min pure and mineral water through innovative, advanced Italian and European technology. So when you come to our factory, you will not find any Chinese or Asian machines. It's purely European international standards in our manufacturing process. As a matter of fact, <laughs> uh, we, we, we love AI, but we still love our people. Uh, when you come to our Kumase ultra modern plant, all our engineers are Ghanaians. With all this machinery that we are talking or boasting about, all our engineers are mostly Ghanaians. We are certified by ISO, which is International Organization for Standardization, and HACCP, which is Hazard Analysis and Critical control and what we do is a systematic preventive approach to food safety so we don't have to allow the food to get chemical biological or physical contamination before we are into that HACCP regulation where we are able to regulate all our standards to make sure that we don't have defective products in markets for some years we've been having a foundation called the Verna Changing Lives. And this has impacted on a lot of families that are disadvantaged. It is our aim to strive hard to contribute to the attainment of some of the nation's sustainable development goals that we are all pursuing. And we are motivated to do more and sustain a smile and joy in the faces of people. Thank you and enjoy Trillium Industrial Company products, which is across all over the globe. At the moment, we are the, uh, the market leaders in many categories of the soft drinks and the confectionery market. Thank you. So they refreshed you this afternoon. And I hope that it went down well for you. Ebushian for? Yes, sir. for? Yes, One more time. Ebushian for? Yes, sir. Wesley Ramba? Wesley Ramba? One more time. Wesley Ramba? Please arise. Stand. Well, I'm going to give you a few minutes. And I want you to give us a bit of a morale. Some people call it jama. Or they say morale. So we're going to give you some three minutes. Please do your thing quickly. If you're ready, go. Your three minutes is counting.
your turn to give us some three minutes of jama all right so i'm loving the energy very quickly the Joy Prime channel tomorrow at 4.30. Listen, gentlemen, please settle down as we announce to you the results and inform you which school has qualified for the next stage of the competition. This afternoon's debate was between students of New Dubiasi Senior High School and Kumasi Wesley Girls. They were represented by Abigail Ampofo and Mensa Charity Ajo Sheyuram of New Dubiasi and Prisla T.Y. Fifa and Bridget Owusu Ajiman of Kumasi Wesley Girls High School. The motion was artificial intelligence is threatening to take over human productivity. Kumasi Wesley Girls were for the motion and Nui Dibiasi were against the motion. Now the results. And listen carefully to what I'm about to say to you. We started this debate on Monday, the 2023 edition on Monday. From Monday up until yesterday, the decision and the results has been unanimous which means that all three judges scored for a particular school to win. In today's contest, we have a majority win, which means that as I go through the results and you are doing the calculation with me, you would realize that a particular school might or may have more scores than the other. But because of what Dr. Pitata told you, that per this year, if two judges should score for a particular school, that school will be the school that would win the contest. And that is what has happened this afternoon. So it is not unanimous. It is a majority victory for the school that will be making it to the next stage of the competition. At this point in time, Oben Bompaya, Memunyading, if you know how to speak in tongues, speak in tongues. 
if you're a traditional worshiper, start you know, pouring libation. Here we go. And I'll start with the results of Komase Wesley Girls. So you were told that you'd be scored on organization and clarity. That information was given to you. So by way of organization and clarity, one of the judges scored 26 for Komasi Wesley Girls. Another scored 21 for Kiwe Gehe and the other 24. If you put it together, 26, 21, 24, it sums up to 71. By way of argument and development, a judge scored 24, the other scored 23, and the other 21 put together is 68. And that is 24, 23, 21, amounting to 68. Effective use of rebuttals. A judge scored 9. The other scored 8. And yet the another scored 10. So it's 9, 8, and 10 put together is 27. Presentation style. One of our judges scored for Kewegehe, 14. The other 10. And then the last judge, 11 amounting to 35. So 14, 10, 11 is 35. Role as a particular debater. One of our judges scored 9, the other scored 6, the other scored 9, amounting to 24. So 9, 6, 9 is 24. That sums up to 225 for Kewegehe. Now the results for New Edibiase, same style, same routine. 